experiment with exciting smart home devices and interesting tech. And hopefully, somewhere along the way, oh, we create something too cool for words. This, I mean, I, this is sumo physics. One, two, one, two, need my attitude. Three, four, three, four, check my latitude. This is a ten minute warning. My A. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all that good. What's the text? Lock up for me, please. What's good, enthusiast? January 1st, 2023, I posted my first video on this channel. I've posted about 51 shorts, 34 videos, and gained over 11,000 subscribers. Not too bad in my first year. But I will have to say, I did not expect this kind of growth, though. You see, I started this channel for fun, and I didn't really want to take it serious, or I didn't want it to be anything too serious because I don't need two jobs. Life is hard enough. So if you were to go back and look at my earlier videos, don't look at those videos. They were rough, like really rough. But unexpectedly, the content within those videos, for some reason, they resonated with you. Like you found the content good. So good that you risked your eyes and ears to watch my crappy videos. Thank you. But over time, right, I got better and faster at creating videos to where now I'm pretty proud of the content that I produce. So first and foremost, I want to just give a shout out to you guys and just let you know how grateful I am of your support. For those of you who found my content worthy enough for your subscription, I really appreciate you. For those of you who found my content deserving enough for your donations, bro, I am honored. And lastly, for those of you who found my content compelling enough that you would comment, thank you. With all of your engagement, you guys provide no shortage of ideas for me, which leads me to the point of this video. I have a long list of ideas and smart home concepts that I would love to explore further and just more in depth. Additionally, I've also created an open source open AI plugin for Node-RED, which I would love to evolve even further and make it more robust and easy to use. But all of these things require time. I started Tech Enthusiast as a hobby and between work and family life, I can only create about one to two videos per month. But this is where you guys come in. With your support, I plan to assemble a team of creatives to help me with the video production aspect of what I'm doing. This should give me time to explore my more intricate ideas and provide a more specialized attention to those enthusiasts looking to go down the rabbit hole with me. Hey, look, there's something that I want you guys to know, and it's that I read your comments. I may not be able to get to all of them, but I do read your comments. And one of the cool things that I see is that I am really thrilled and excited to see how you guys are inspired by the ideas that I give out and that you want to genuinely go and try and do it. Like a lot of you say that, hey, I want to try this out. I'm going to try this out. And you, and you do. So when I create the videos, I try to keep them at a high level, high enough that you guys can get the big picture and the direction of what the idea is and where it's going. But then it leaves room for you guys to kind of figure out yourselves and figure out how to implement. Like I leave the implementation to you and your imagination. And this is deliberate. I bring this up because many of you have asked like, how come I don't go into depth or dive deeper into how I create and do the automations that I'm talking about? And it's for the simple reason that the moment I do, it's going to become obsolete. Like the moment I say it, tech moves so fast that it makes my words obsolete. As a result, there was a series that I created where I showed you guys how to create K, a GPT powered chatbot that can control your smart home. And these are the messages that I got. So it turns out that the underlying tech evolved far enough where the API that I used to use 
was no longer there. It got deprecated and as a result, a lot of you ran into a lot of issues. And that's just how tech goes. But what I found very encouraging is that still many of you tried and even though you couldn't figure it out, a lot of you were still kind about it, very understanding. And those of you who did figure it out were trying to help those to kind of catch up to where you were. Fantastic. So this YouTube membership that I'm starting not only helps with giving me the ability to create a team to help me push out more content, but my hope is that it gives me the breathing room to continue to work and finish projects like the one I've been working on since July. So I've created a plugin that allows people to essentially talk to GPT with no coding experience at all within your automations. You wouldn't have to write a line of code. You would just use it but it, it's not ready there's still a lot of bugs it's it still needs to be tested out a bit but that hasn't stopped any of you super sleuths from finding it like there's some folks who've noticed it in my videos and you've found it to be honest it wasn't like i was trying to keep it hidden or anything the point is that your membership allows me to have the room to work on these types of project and to help the community in this aspect which is I I want to enable you guys to be able to do the things that I'm doing, and this can help with that. I'm also hoping that the membership will foster and continue to grow the spirit of helpfulness and community that I've been seeing within the comments. Hold on. Think of it this way. You guys have seen my videos, and from my perspective, like if from in my shoes, right, I'm just doing me, right? I I take these intrusive thoughts that's in my head, explore them, and I share them with you. But from your perspective, the content is unusual, inspiring, and unlike anything that you've seen within the niche. Now, this is what I'm able to do alone, but imagine what would happen to this channel if I had your support. 